What's going on? Stop the hobo. I'm here at the East St. Louis CSX yard. This is what it looks like. So the problem going on here, there's a fork. You got this fork at the east edge of the yard somewhere out there. I'm not sure where it is. Where trains go to Cincy or Indy. I want to go to Cincinnati, however, if it ends up in Indy, I know I can go to Cincy from there. Not sure what's going on at this yard yet. It looks like they're building the trains here. They're backing them in. They're building the trains at the gateway yard, which is somewhere over by the arch. And then they're backing them into these tracks here, and I'm sure they're gonna pull out going east, because CSX doesn't go west out of here. This is the end of their territory. Look at this, you got turkeys walking around here right by the yard. Thanksgiving. I don't know what the rule is on hunting in here, but we've got this old, I don't know what this cabin does here, here at the edge of the yard. I don't think it's, I can't tell if it's in use anymore. Nobody's parked here. There's a lot of tracks and a lot of directions out of here. So go in this direction. This is east. It's either Cincinnati or Indianapolis. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. This cabin might still be in use. It looked like there's possibly activity there. I'm not gonna try to hang out around that area. You got a stack train going on. As far as I know, these all take the Indianapolis Fork to the East Coast, like New Jersey. As far as I can tell. I don't think they would go to Cincinnati. That said, I may just go any direction out of here to get moving which is better than just hanging out for too long here. Still got another guy who is going to come for some of the trip. His YouTube name is Brian Davis. Maybe you've seen him put a comment on one of my videos before. He's hunkered somewhere around here. There's a ton of turkeys around here. All throughout the bushes. Look at that. So I'm going to be going with a YouTube viewer here. This is Brian Davis. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. He's got his own channel on there too. So uh, he's commented on some of the videos. We're debating what to do. I'm saying, I was just saying, that there's two or three trains fixing to leave, but I couldn't tell you where they're going. So we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, I mean, we could gamble and just get on a train. If it goes to Indianapolis, like we can deal, I, I think we can deal with that because you can get a southbound from there. Third air. I think it's the left track. I'm looking at the signal. It's all red. We're in position. We may have to cross over this. Eye on that signal. As soon as anything changes, we get on. So just to point out, I we don't know where this train... All right, I know possible places. There's a fork out of here to either Cincinnati or Indianapolis. However, what happened last time I came through Illinois, if you watch Illinois, Toledo, Chicago, the train split off onto another railroad's tracks and it the point is this could go onto a different railroad's tracks there's many options that could happen the thing is if you look at the one railroad's map this is csx you can kind of get an idea possible ways but what you can't account for is if this splits onto another railroad's track which i don't think will happen but that happened last time i came through illinois I started on UP, it split onto CSX, and it ended up on Norfolk Southern. I, there's no way to account for that option, which means when we wake up in the morning, I don't know where we're going to be. Realizing what these metal things are, I think they're coming from the bridge, but do, Quite you, th possibly. do you think they're from the railroad? I don't know. I don't have a clue as to what the hell. Yeah, I don't I've either. never seen something like this, man. Yeah. Put it back where it came from. Finally, it's like 9 p.m. and this train that's been parked all day is moving forward. So it's going to be a while till I know what's going to happen with this. What? Did you think I would actually go this far? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, cool. I told you I wasn't going to out. Yeah. I'm sorry if I sound arrogant and shit. This oh, is no worries. Bad. It's all good.
just came into the Avon yard, which is the Indianapolis area yard, which is quite a ways from Indianapolis. And got a lot of work to do to figure out how to get south from here or southeast to Cincinnati. There's a fork to Louisville and Cincinnati. I don't know how to do it. I got no idea. Non-stop cars. I'm sick of these cars. Go to hell. This is complicated. This is a complicated looking situation. All right. We're splitting up here. Thanks for coming along. I'm going to stay in bed here next to the yard. Somewhere else. Stub the hobo here at the uh, CSX Avon yard, which is Indianapolis area yard. It's way out of town. It's too far to walk into town. It's about a 10 mile walk, according to my understanding. And I got to figure how to get to Cincy from here. I don't know how to do that at this point. It's very clear that uh, a lot of trains are leaving. But looking at my maps application on my phone, which is convenient to have, I don't see where the thing even forks off south to Cincinnati. I think a lot of these trains are just going east to Willard and on to New Jersey. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna get Megabus. I'll get into town and I can get Megabus to Cincinnati where I know I can get the train south to Florida that I missed last time I was there. All right, so down here at the East Yard Throat, and basically my understanding looking at the CSX map is that you got southbounds to Louisville and southeastbounds to Cincinnati out of here. But just looking around, I don't see any tracks forking off. It all just goes this way east for a while, meaning I can't figure it out out of this yard. I'm looking at whipping out and just getting Megabus, 15 bucks. There's just no way to, to tell what's going on here. I may just, I mean, for 15 bucks, I don't see why I would care that much when I'm just gonna be down there in two hours on a bus. That's kind of ridiculous. Look at this road, look at how busy this road is, and tell me why you wouldn't have a local bus. You can see the skyline straight ahead, no local bus here. Ridiculous, it's like an eight more mile walk. In addition to not having a local bus on the busiest street, City. No cold beer either in the store here. So Indiana is definitely it's a major gig against this place. I've been walking for about four miles. I want a cold beer and it's not gonna happen. And that's ridiculous. There's no local buses anywhere. I don't even think they have chicken in this deli at this ridiculous store. What's going on here in Indianapolis? I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed so far. I've never even heard of this concept till I got here. Of no cold beer allowed in the gas station or the grocery. That's downright barbaric. You know, the malt liquor I drink, this stuff tastes awful warm. So, in addition to liking beer, I'm also kind of a snob. I'm not, I'm not gonna drink warm beer. I'll just have to wait till I get to Ohio, which is a lot more reasonable. Overall, I really wouldn't recommend this as like a great stop on the train. Now, if you just ride through, it's fine, but I'm not seeing a reason. I mean, this yard is 11 miles outside of town. I would just say I'd stay on the train through here. You could get supplies, but it's hard to see an appeal to this place so far. I mean, look at this. That's downtown. There's still not a bus. What is wrong with this place? No, what is wrong with these people and this place? We're four miles on a busy street and there's still no buses. They don't have a local bus system here. All right, so I'm walking around and I got, my new tour guide is James. Right? <laughs> yeah. Deal with this place. Why is the bus so impossible to find? Why can't I get cold beer in the gas station? What's the problem? What's wrong with it? Well, the one thing is there's just a bunch of idiotic people that don't know crap. I'm not from around here. 
This is me. <laughs> what about Mike Pence? He's from here. I didn't vote for no one this year. I wouldn't want, I especially wouldn't want a liar in this house. I definitely wouldn't want a buffoon. How many trains come through on this track, you think? Oh, quite a few. Quite a few. One every 30 minutes at the most. Why do you think they put the train yard so far that way? Instead of down here towards town. Well, actually, the train yard's that way. There's another train yard, okay. You cross the street and you're saying this is a dangerous city here. Yeah, we're on the um, top 10 uh, most uh, murderous city in the United States. That's not good. Not a good situation. That Burger King got, um, about a week and a half ago got robbed two times in one night. That Burger King? Yep. They had Crazy. the whole corridor locked off because of that. And then just like a couple, uh, two weeks ago, this bus stop right here, we had a uh, bus there. This bus stop right about they to go sit. They had a uh, guy threatening with a gun, and they had the SWAT out there. I'm gonna camp out near the train tracks, near the downtown. Are you saying that's an okay place to camp, or I mean? Ah, uh, technically no, I wouldn't do it. I really wouldn't. Do it. I mean, I'll check it out, but. But I'll say just be aware of your surroundings. Well, so and, what, uh, a lot of junkies, a lot of. Yeah. James is gonna be my tour guide around town. Here's the tracks. You said these are the main tracks coming through town. So that's not the capital, the Capitol building. You're saying? That's the. Where's the Capitol? A little more further down that way. Further down. I guess that's just the courthouse. So you got the Union Station. You got freights creeping through here. That's looks like you could just catch right here on this bridge in town instead of going to the yard. You got the Colt Stadium. Where everybody's still. Sore about the paid manning thing. So you can get on or off here, but you got this fence. So you're saying I could put my bag under this tree mm -hmm. and I, I shouldn't have to worry about anybody stealing it? You shouldn't. Okay. You inside, like literally inside. Let's you know, try it. Does anybody tree. want this incredibly mm -hmm. obnoxiously oversized bag? I hope not. Right. Where the hell do we put it in this thing? Lock that bitch in there. Guaranteed right here. We are sharing the same land and soil with Mike Pence at some time. This is basically why Indianapolis hates Denver. It sums it up right there. point at all to living in this state? Oh I mean, yeah, there's definitely. There is? Yes, there's definitely a lot of points. There's a lot of generous people here. We have a lot of food pantries that would help out a lot of the homeless people. We have a really good service when it comes to helping the homeless people. That's just one thing That's I know of. Nice. And um, just a couple years ago I was homeless and they have helped me so much that I got back in back in my condition and actually got, when I moved on with my life and actually going to start my own family so that's why I'm going starting to your own family does somebody do is that what that means yep you're gonna be a daddy yeah 25 gonna be a dad you're saying there's like a kid somebody's pregnant with a kid yep right now yep yeah, so we're going to the bus stop you gotta we're splitting up here me and James thanks for hanging out you look just like Jack Black dude <laughs> has anybody said that I've been called that, and I've also been called Seth Rogen. I see more Jack Black. Have a good rest of your life. You too. Get a hold of me. I'll be in a new episode in April when I get back. Hello. I shall. Hello. Peace. There's a decent little hip urban area here with non-corporate restaurants, which is cool. Not the most exciting place, but it's definitely not the worst city I've come into. I think it's better than East St. Louis, to say the least. There's definitely a kitsch millennial scene here if you're into that. Micro brews and distilleries.
people traveling through the United States, maybe from other countries or you know different circumstances, may encounter greyhounds. And I just like to point out in this video why like, greyhound is so awful, it, with the hopes that they would improve their service. Because as it is, I just think it's it's a shame that this is what we're offering as our bus system across America. When you come in the restroom, what do you expect? No mirror. Nothing. Vomitous conditions in general. Talk about another thing. Have you ever been to a vending machine where it doesn't tell you how much the things cost? Look at this. There's no prices on anything. How on earth are you supposed to buy this when there's no price? So you probably put in your credit card and you find out it's like five bucks for it. It's preposterous, I've never even heard of this. Basically the impression you get when you come to a Greyhound vending machine is they don't want to sell you anything. Look at this, look at how filthy this machine is. It's absolutely nasty. And again, no price on anything, so maybe it's 10 bucks for a bottle of soda. This vending machine, this vending machine, nothing. Doesn't tell you how much it is. This stuff better be up here, man. Yes. What the hell was that? This is actually, you know, this may seem inglorious. I'm actually, this is a nice bedding here. I mean, look at this. This is it's like that wood chip stuff. So, as long as we don't get any more rain, I think I'll be all right. Brian left his tarp. I got a tarp. This should work out swimmingly, I'm hoping. I'm giving up on trying to figure out the train. You got prison style barbed wire surrounding the tracks in downtown. I'm beat. I'm just gonna go to bed. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. Look at that. Beautiful. Catch you in the morning. Oh, well, you wanna, wanna talk about a change in the weather fast? Look at this. I had no idea it's gonna start snowing here. This is what I'm trying to escape. Nuts. Good thing I'm just getting the bus out of here. This is. Absurd. It's like the last time I was here in December all of a sudden. Snow swirling around. Crazy. It got cold fast. Yesterday I was like in the 70s. As I was always coming in, now we got a snowstorm going on. We got this guy coming in. I'm just gonna basically say that this this is this. I give up on going out of this yard in any direction other than east-west. I have no idea how to go south. I have no idea how to go north. I'm not even going to try. Alright, I'm going to get the bus. I'm whipping out. Not even a chance I'm going to get on a train in this weather again. Well, this is the most dramatic weather change I've experienced a couple of years at least. It was 70 something yesterday. And we've got driving snow coming down. So 12 bucks for a bus, it's not even a debate versus figuring out the train. About to get on and head south to Cincinnati. The interesting things here, I've never seen anything like this. You got this long shed. The trains go through this shed. They emerge here. It's about 300 yards long. And then they come out, and I think that might be the Cincy branch down there. Oh, pretty slow through this downtown area. I'm not saying necessarily you could get on, but you could definitely get off. So I'm on the bus going into Cinch here. Every time I take the bus instead of a train, it's kind of a disappointment. A piece of me dies inside every time. But again, for 10 bucks, to not be out in the cold, I'm not gonna complain too much. I'll give a free plug for Megabus. 10 bucks to go 100 miles. So, uh, I'm gonna hang out here with a viewer for a day or two, then I'm gonna head south and uh, continue to Jacksonville. What a bad town, honestly. It's a lot better than Indianapolis. Stark contrast to Indianapolis. 
Indiana. You got ice cold beer, and look at these deals on beer. You got 99 cent ice house cans. Honey Brown, 99 cent cans. That's a decent beer. 99 cents for a token. In addition, finally we're in Yingling territory. Some other stuff, so thank God to be out of Indiana.